Hey church family, in Hosea 9, God continues to declare his judgment on the northern kingdom of Israel. In verse 15, he speaks some very strong words about them. God says, Every evil of theirs is in Gilgal. There I began to hate them. Because of the wickedness of their deeds, I will drive them out of my house. I will love them no more. All their princes are rebels. Gilgal was an influential city in the northern kingdom. At one time, it was celebrated as the city where Saul's reign was inaugurated. But at this point in history, it had become a cult center and the home of all types of evil practices. Gilgal represented the depth of the sin of Israel. God had been patient and kind with Israel. Time and time again, he called them to repentance. At first, they returned to him. But time and time again, like a dog who returns to its own vomit, they return to their sin. God takes sin seriously. Sin dishonors God and destroys people. God will not look upon or tolerate it. Rather, he seeks to eradicate it. The time had come in Gilgal and in Israel for God to eradicate the sin of the people. They needed to experience rock bottom in order to be set free from sin's stronghold. They had become drunk on its pleasure and misled by its lies. Because of this, God would allow his people to experience the consequences of their sin in hopes that one day they would return. As believers, we enjoy the forgiveness of our sin due to Christ's atoning sacrifice on our behalf. However, we are not immune to the enticement and the consequences of sin. We too can become drunk on its pleasure and misled by its lies. If sin exists in our lives, we have two choices, repent or reap the consequences. If we repent and return to the Lord in His ways, He will forgive us and lead us in the way everlasting. However, if we refuse to repent, we will reap the consequences of our sin. God loves us enough to allow us to reap the consequences and to hit rock bottom in hopes that one day we will return to Him. As you read through Hosea 9 today, pay attention to how God feels about and responds to sin in His people. Then examine yourself to see if there's any unconfessed sin in your life. If there is, you have a choice to make. Will you repent or reap the consequences? Enjoy your time with Jesus today.